the reason that why we did all this is because you guys may run into the issue where your Chrome driver downloaded from the NuGet package manager, even the Chrome driver downloaded from the actual website may cause you some problems. And that problem is right here, this type initialization exception, okay? Because the version of the Chrome driver that I downloaded from NuGet package manager does not match to the latest supported version of Chrome. Right, my Chrome is now a much higher version than is supported by that 2.1 version of the Chrome driver. However, that same thing can happen even to the driver that we download from the Selenium website because it's 2.19 may support, let's say, version 40 of Chrome, but now version 41 comes out, which come out much faster than the Chrome drivers, and now you guys may run into the same issue. So to fix it, we need to do two things. First, we need to install the latest Chrome driver, which will download from that Chrome driver website. And number two is we need to make sure that our Chrome doesn't automatically update, just like we do with any other browser. Just like I taught you guys with Firefox, you need to do the same exact thing with Chrome driver. And so then that's going to fix this issue of type initialization exception. When we fix it and we do it right, What's going to happen now is you're going to need to point your Chrome driver to an absolute path like this. Folder where driver lives. And that's nice and all, it's going to fix your issue, but it's not nice for when you want to share the code with anyone else. Because this path may not exist on other systems. So you don't want them creating this path just because it doesn't exist. Instead, you want your code working on all the systems. So that's where I created this method to get us a driver. And it's really dynamic because now we can get any driver. And right now it just retrieves us a Chrome driver using this relative path. And in the future, if we want to create other drivers like IE, we can put the IE driver into our framework drivers folder we can put IE driver, we can put Edge driver, any other driver except Firefox, which comes built in. Those are executables, we can put them in, and then we wouldn't have to worry about where they live, and we can utilize this logic to retrieve us the appropriate driver, and then we can initialize our web driver using this method just by changing this selection right here. So, hope that makes sense to you guys. If you run into that type initialization exception error, that is how you fix it.